Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good morning, my fifth grade students. Uh, okay, today we will continue our last topic uh, last week, yeah. The topic of last week, unit one, about the skeletal and muscular system. Now we study about the second part of skeletal and muscular system about the function of some bones the function of some bones mm, okay now let's see uh, I think I have show you this picture last week I have showed you this picture last week and then I show it again now why teacher? because I hope all of you not only know the name um, but you have to be uh, familiar and then you have to memorize it because it's important when you study about the skeletal system it's important to memorize the names of the, the bones and also the translation in Bahasa so I hope all of you understand the names of the bones memorize the names of the bones and also the translation it's important when you study the skeletal and muscular system to know about the names of the bones so I show you again this now uh, the skull is tulang tengkorak, collar bone, tulang selangka, until ankle bone, tulang pergelangan kaki. And then the first bone that we will discuss is the skull. What is the function of the skull to protect our brain? You can see here, inside the skull there is the delicate internal organ that we say, this is the brain. So the brain is protected by the skull. The brain is protected by the skull. So uh, the function of the skull to protect our brain. This is the first bone and the function that we that we discuss. Okay, the second is rib cake. Rib cake. In Bahasa we say rib cake is rongga dada. You can see here. This is from the front view, and then this is from the side view. Tampak samping. Actually, rib cake is the combination of brace bone and then rib and then spain so the combination of brace bone rib rib this is rib and then spain from the side view it's clearly enough okay this is brace bone combination of brace bone and then spain and then rib this is that we call rib cake rongga dada so rongga dada is like a, a, a place yeah tempat tempat dia rongga a cake sangkar Actually, what uh, organ that protected, that protect here, yang dilindungi oleh rib cage ini? Of course, when you know this is in here, that is the delicate important organ that we say this is lungs and also heart. So, lungs and heart protected by rib cage. Remember, rib cage is combination of brace bone and then rib and also spain. Look at the rib hold by the breast bone at the front. And then hold by the spain at the back. The rib, tulang rusuk, hold by the breast bone at the front. And then hold by the spain at the back. And then you can see here, the picture here. Vertebrae. Jadi ruas-ruas tulang belakang. This is, okay, spain. This is uh, vertebrae. Ruas-ruas tulang belakang. So it's contain of short bones that we call vertebrae. Each vertebrae, okay, each vertebrae separate by cartilage. Jadi ternyata setiap ruas ini it separate dipisahkan oleh cartilage tulang rawan. Oke. Okay. And then it also contain the bundle of nerve. Uh, saraf saraf di sini ya. So this is important. Spain is so important. It's uh, it's the continuation of brain. Dia juga lanjutannya otak. So when it continue here there is a brain and then spain. Spain is a bridge, jembatan from the brain to the rest of the body. So it's important. Uh, Spain also uh, protect the lung that combined with the breastbone and also rib. Breastbone, spain, and rib make rib cake that protect heart and lung. Okay, that's all about rib cake. And then the next part of the bone that we discuss is hip bone. Hip bone is tulang panggul. Okay, nice hip bone. I taught you to memorize. Hip bone is tulang panggul. Okay, here. The hip bone protect the organs such as bladder. You can see this bladder. Bladder in bahasa kandung kemih. What is the function of bladder? This is store urine. Jadi dia menyimpan urin. 
menyimpan urin bladder it is protected by hip bone jadi tulang panggul ini melindungi kemih then the next oh this is additional knowledge about bone bone store minerals and calcium that is uh, that make the bones hard ya yeah? and strong jadi bone itu contain uh, store uh, menyimpan mineral and also calcium and then when you see inside of bone here there is bone marrow ada sum-sum tulang bone marrow bone marrow is the place where bone where blood is made jadi uh, dia tempat pembuatan ini sel darah ya and then you can see this too the red and the blue this is blood vessel pembuluh darah We will study about blood vessel when we study about circulatory system. So the important one here, the additional knowledge about the bone, bone store mineral and also calcium, and then inside it there is a bone marrow that uh, the place where blood is made. This is yeah. Jadi ini uh, tempat membuatnya darah, tempat membuat darah. Okay. And then now we continue to join sendi. Sendi. In English, we say joints. What is joint? Joint is a place where two or bones meet. So when there are two or, bo uh, or more bones meet, we call a place is a joint. Joint can be fixed. Can be fixed. Okay, this is a fixed joint. Fixed it means fix. Fix itu artinya pas. Jadi uh, when we talk about joint sendi, so it means sendi mati. So it doesn't low any movement jadi ini nggak bisa uh, bergerak sama sekali although this is a connection between bone so this is bone 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 connected with the joint nih this is joint but it doesn't low any movement ini nggak bergerak sama sekali so we said this is sendi mati or fixed joint so based on the movement joint can be fixed and then joint can allow movement that allow movement so many joints here this is connected two bones and then low movement this is a low movement this is a low movement okay you can see this is to a low movement banyak ya jadi bisa sendi gerak atau sendi geser but here fixed joint sendi mati it doesn't allow any movement at all okay now let's see the type of joint actually many type of joint uh, but uh, we just discuss two type of joint here Uh, sendi engsel, hanji joint, and also sendi peluru, ball and socket joint. Okay. So we just uh, discuss two kinds of joints: hanji joint, ball and socket joint. Actually, there are many joints: five foot joint, saddle joint, plain joint. But uh, for today, we, we just discuss this. Uh, for fourth grade, we we just discuss two type of joint: hanji joint and ball and socket joint sendi engsel and then sendi peluru let's see one by one hanji joint engsel you can see here okay hanji joint at the elbow and knee so the example of hanji joint contoh sendi sendi engsel in what is this elbow siku and also knee lutut it's a low movement in one direction only so the characteristic of hanji joint It a low movement in one direction only. Okay, can see here. Jadi ini bergeraknya one direction only. Do you know the door hanji? Okay, door hanji. Jadi excel pintu, it a low only one movement, one direction. One direction. So it's same with this, yeah, with hanji join. It a low movement in one direction only. The example in the elbow and also the knee. And then we see here ball and socket joint or sendi peluru. The example you can see hip joint. This is panggul, yeah. And then in the shoulder joint, this is di bahu. Okay, this is ball and socket joint. There is a ball. There is a ball that fix to the socket. Jadi ini bentuknya ball bola that fix yang pas di di tempatnya ini ball that fix to the socket. This is the ball. The shape like the ball that fix to the socket so we say this is ball and socket joint the ball and socket joint at the hip and the shoulder jadi contohnya ada di panggul and bahu okay this is allow you to move in all direction jadi ini bisa all direction bergerak ke semua arah diputar-putar you can circle it you can swing your swing your arm ya yeah. 
di putar-putar uh, different with the hind joint just now that only move in one direction so when I make uh, the difference between hind joint and bone structure joint you can see this the hind joint allow us to move in one direction only but the ball and socket joint it allow us to move in circles or in all direction or in all direction this is the difference between them and then the example this is in knee and also elbow and then this is in hip and also the shoulder okay that's all for today my students uh, after this you have to do your task uh, see you next week thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh